Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Today I want to show you a really cool technique to add sortable animated list items to your application. Uh, when it comes to like drag and dropping and, you know, sorting stuff, it can be quite challenging and quite a lot of code to implement. But today I'll show you how to do it in a couple of minutes. It's also my birthday on the 2nd of March, so wifey came true with this kick-ass gift. We got a gaming chair, everyone, so that when we were tired of the code... Still at the shot. This episode is brought to you by Brilliant. Let's go. Okay, let's get cracking. So we have a new empty Next.js project here ready to go. And the one package that we're going to need for this magic sauce is going to be Framer Motion. Now we can opt for different packages like DND Kit or DND Beautiful. They're great. But what I found is actually the reordering functionality that they have in Framer Motion. It's nicely animated and you can get it done in like two minutes. So, okay. Let's add a card here. I have Shad CN installed, so I'll just add a card header here, for example, and we're gonna say item one, all right? We're, we're gonna loop over this eventually. Actually, in the card header here, we should add the card title, my apologies. So there we go, we'll add item one. And then we'll also add a card content here, and here we're just gonna add the P tag saying lorem 20, like that. Cool. And let's also separate this. I'll just add a margin of like eight to not have it stuck there at the top. Okay, so that's our item. Now to create an array, we'll just create a state here and we'll set this equal to use state. And for now, I'll just add a couple here. One, two, three, four, five, for example. Okay, so you'd have something like this. Now this data can be from your, um, you know, from a DB call or whatever. I'll show you a different way as well after this example on how we can use it in React hook form with uh, field arrays as well. Uh, but let's get this up and going. Okay, so as long as we have the state here, we can import, it's called reorder, okay? Reorder from frame or motion. And all you need to do essentially is wrap, well, let's loop over this first so we can actually see everything here. Um, M8, okay. So let's loop over this. So we'll go down here. We'll say items the map for each item. What we want to do is render out each individual card. Okay. There we go. Hit save and look at that. Now we have five. Cool. Now the next step is going to be to add this reorder right above where we loop. So here I'll do reorder dot and this is going to be our group so this is going to act kind of like a div around the content that you want to animate so let's wrap that like that and here you're going to need to pass in values and the values is going to be the actual items here in your state so we'll just pass in items and on reorder this is essentially if you like check out the event here Ugh. why would i want to write else here who uh, if you check out this event here, it's essentially gonna give you, so if I move this down here, for example, it's gonna give you the reordered list already. So an array that's reordered, okay? So it would be some, so if I like drag here, this event is gonna fire saying that, okay? So on reorder here, all we essentially wanna do is just say set items. That's it, because we're dispatching that state. So that's one. And then the next step is to wrap the actual element that you want to drag with reorder item. Okay. And again, if you wrap the whole thing here, that means that you're going to be able to drag the whole card. You might want to have instance where you only want, you know, a button to be dragged here on the side. You can do that as well. But for now, we're just going to wrap everything here like that. And this takes two values, uh, items, sorry, item as in singular, and a key, which is gonna be the same. We're gonna pass in the item again. Now you have control here if you wanna like limit the drag X and the drag Y. And once you add these three properties here, take a look, boom, you can move it around and it animates as well, which is fantastic. Now let's not have one here. So what we'll do instead is I'll switch this over to index like that. So let's console log that out as well. Hit save, and there we go. So zero, if I drag and hold, look at that. It just gets nicely reorganized. 
So just checking the docs here, if you want to add this ability where you actually just grab a part of the item to drag it and the rest of them is like, it's still fine. You can grab the text and whatever. And what you do for that is you import this hook from Frame or Motion called Use Drag Controls. And then you set it false on the actual item and then on pointer down on the div or button or whatever you want to have, you can just start it, control start. So how cool is this? It's just a couple lines of code and then you can expand it from here, adding like more animations to it using motion value or whatever. So it's brilliant, just like today's sponsor. That's why I want to take a second and thank today's sponsor, Brilliant. They offer thousands of bite-sized lessons on computer science, math, physics, even large language models. And the fact that you can just go on the app, you know, hop in and, you know, select your difficulty level and do a couple of lessons. It's just like a mini game, you know, like I'm, I'm jumping between filming videos, editing videos, but also programming at the same time. So I cannot sit down, you know, spend 20, you know, 20 hours to watch a full lesson on like what's popping in algebra. So it's just nice that I can hop in the app, you know, it's super interactive and complete a couple of lessons and, you know, I end up learning something new because that's what it's all about. Otherwise, it'd probably be on TikTok. So join Brilliant using the link below for a 30 day free trial plus 20% off your premium subscription. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. Let me give you an example of a more re real world project here that we can implement this reordering system uh, because you're not always gonna have like a state that you can just modify and it's as simple as that. So I'll, I'll show you how you can go around that. So this is the next 14 course that's right around the corner. We're really excited for it. Uh, but as you can see, you get to see your products here and you get to create create products and the place that we're using this reordering functionality is let me just add the price here so we can create uh, multiple products here right so I can add a title to it I can add a color to it as you can see it's red I can add tags so red small four by four whatever that means and I get to upload images as well so let's do I'll just do a couple of random ones here to show you so as you can see we upload the three images here but I might want this image to show up first so I can just simply move it up like that and hit save or create product in this example and the cool bit is as you can see there is our product I can go back to it hit edit and now on edit I can if I want to put this down I can move that down and that's fine I might add another type of product right here so what's happening here we're here we're using field array with react hook form so we're creating the state here using this fields tag now if you try to do the same thing we did there where you do fields set into the reorder group here. Let me just scroll down here, right? Fields, that's fine. The problem is when you wanna do the on reorder, all right? This on reorder just gives you back the finished array. So now here on reorder, what we wanna do is essentially map over all of these items. Okay, so we're mapping over it and we wanna grab the active element. So again, we can just insert from our state, hey, this is the one. And how do we know this? We know this because on the loop here, we're setting on drag start, set active, and we just pass in the index. Okay, so we know that this is the active element. And then here, we're grabbing it. So this is the active element that we grab. And then we'll check, hey, if the item equals the active element, that's the one that we should move and swap around. So React hook form and field array has this special method called move. And you pass in the index of the current number and where you wanna move it. So active is gonna be our current, right? And index is gonna be where we wanna move it to because this E map here, this mapping is gonna give you the final direction of that element, okay? And if we hit save and if we drag, let me do a refresh because this is not gonna work just yet. Uh, here we go. So if I try to move this and reorder it, it works once, but then it gets stuck, right? And nothing else happens. And the reason why is because the active element, whilst you're holding on it, is always gonna be on one. I just realized I'm blocking this whole screen. But look, see, it works once and that's it because the one I'm holding here is still on, on zero right now, right? So there. So what we need to do after we move it, we also need to update the state. So we'll say set active and then we'll pass in the index because now our active position has updated over. So now when we try to grab and hold, as you can see, we get the nice reorder. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, drop a sub, drop a like. Come on, that's my birthday. Make me happy. Give me a like. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes with the course as well. I'll try to just, 
yeah, that's super exciting. This is going to be banger, absolutely banger. Uh, yeah, until next time, we're going to do, we're jumping back into the TypeScript business universe and we're going to finish that series up. But I wanted to show you this because it was super cool. Okay, I'll stop you a lot blabbering. Bye.